Today, me and the shade are gonna figure out the correct riding position for him. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. The shade just left, we took every single measurement that we could on his body and on the bike and we found the correct riding position for him. So what we first try to figure out is the rider height. That is pretty much important. That is where every single piece connects, his arms and his legs. So we got the rider position on a 81 centimeters high. That is a good riding position that he can swing over his leg to get on the bike, that he can sit on the seat with his feet touching the ground so that is perfect and then we had to find out the length from his handlebars all the way to the back side of the seat this was a little bit more tricky because uh, he had to sit on it so we took the seat off and put some wooden planks on the right height and we came out from the center of this to a measurement of 84.5 so that is the correct length that he felt comfortable with his arms and the way his back is and when he put his bottom on the back side of the seat that is all nice and perfect and then comes the foot pegs and that was a little bit more tricky because these are the foot pegs that we got the brand of these foot pegs are tnt they were pretty cheap they are not hollow they are just a little bit drilled out with here which is a little bit of a concern of mine i wish they would been like slip on so my additional idea was to put them in line with the spring like right here but with that we came into a little bit of a problem when the kicker is all the way down yeah we come into contact with that and we don't want that we want the bike to kick over very nicely so when he was sitting on the bike i took a metal tube and moved it around where he was comfortable and we came out to a position that is right here this is where the foot pegs are gonna be like where this bolt meets up that is where the foot peg is gonna be it's gonna be something like this so it protrudes the kick but the kick can still move around so we can kick the bike more easily but on the other side it's a little bit of a problem because we don't have any room for mounting right here when we lift up the exhaust this is what you see and where the foot pack is on the other side it comes out around here so no metal right here so we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna yeah improve that or not uh, i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do that i was thinking about making this like a bend and make it like square or whatever a big hassle but uh, yeah we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do that now what the shade also bought and brought along was his kickstand this is his kickstand this is not a original kickstand for peugeot fox but it's the one that you can get for peugeot fox but there's a little bit of a trouble with this one as well as i told you in my last video this opens up backwards it's meant to be bolted on the bike like this and then you can open it up so that means the kickstand is something like this and it opens up to the front just like this i don't know how you could mount it or, or whatever uh, it says it has to be mounted with the original exhaust which uh, we don't got anymore so i'm gonna have to do some surgery to make it open just like this but this has to be whole twisted around and whatever so a lot of cutting welding again on this bike so now we have a lot of parts that need to go on there we have a lot of cutting measuring building and a lot of stuff has to come together this kickstand needs to go all, almost where the feet pegs are we need to mount feet pegs also on the other side and whatever we have to get the seat but we got the measurements so we can really work on that my brain has been melting already thinking about every single step that i need to do and how i'm gonna do it but uh, i'm gonna start off with some small stuff take the bike apart do step by step so i can figure out everything i'm not gonna worry about the seat right now because i still have to get a metal plate to go under it so i'm gonna just do some small stuff get some preparations get the bike uh, disassembled because i'm gonna flip the engine upside down so i can work out what i need to do and whatever also we have to do the exhaust and yeah but let's just crack on with it and see where we get today
So I did a lot of weld and grinding work already, but let me show you what I did to make this a little bit better and what I still need to do. So first of all, I cut away this whole section right here. This plate used to be on the outside, but now it's on the inside. I feel like this is a more cleaner look. It doesn't stick out that much. Now what I also did is move this down. This here used to be up here so i moved everything down and i have two mounting points right now for this plate one right here and one right here so it is pretty sturdy now this will create more room for the exhaust but we still have to keep in mind of the foot pegs the foot peg is gonna go over here so i'm gonna have to work that out i'm not ready to cut this whole thing off i'm gonna have to see how i'm gonna mount the foot pegs but uh, that is gonna be for a later stage now i put this plate between here there's a little bit of a gap because there used to be an exhaust on this side which made up for the spacing uh, i'm gonna have to address that as well what i'm now gonna do i draw it on the other side what i need to cut on this plate so i'm gonna cut that off bolt this tightly to this and then i can can weld it again uh, reinforce it and whatever and then it should be one piece also the reason that i put it down is there was a big gap right here and now when i put it down the whole gap is gone and it flows much more better i know it's hard with the black and the clear metal but as you can see it flows much more better it's narrower it's i feel like it's much cleaner what i also noticed if i'm gonna have the foot packs right here i'm gonna have to redo this whole part these two things are gonna go i uh, don't know if we're gonna go bolt on or weld on now i'm just gonna grind this piece off get it all tack welded and completely welded and maybe we can reassemble the bike and then just see how it looks so i finally mounted everything it's looking good it was a very very long day grinding welding doing everything to get this all cleaned up but it looks pretty clean let me show you what i did and how it's all gonna work so i shaved everything down from here i moved this up so we have a lot more room right here and when we look with the exhaust the exhaust will fit nicely i still gonna have to make something to attach this don't know how i'm gonna do that of course we're gonna get the angle of the seat i'm gonna still have to weld some pieces on there to get this all mounted up move this on the exhaust but that is going to be a problem for next week or in another week i don't know when i'm gonna finish this but when we look at the bike it actually looks decent enough i still need to weld up a couple of stuff make it all nice and strong get some reinforcements on some parts i'm pretty happy with this as you remember this piece was on the outside now it's on the inside and it looks nice and clean we created more room we maybe shave off a little bit more once we get the foot pegs on there see how they lined up those has to be in a correct position the foot pegs should come out something like this right here it's gonna be a hassle uh, but we still have decent enough room to get an exhaust in there of course we're gonna have to build stuff to make it all reinforced but uh, yeah so next week i'm still gonna have to do some grinding and welding i know these videos aren't that interesting i cannot really show grinding <laughs> and welding it is just so tedious and not really interesting in my point of you still need to make this piece for the exhaust that is something that i have to do of course the whole exhaust need the restoration itself get all the dents out make it straight cut it up and and yeah that is going to be a big big challenge as well but at the moment i'm pretty happy about it it looks nice i'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for the stuff that i needed to do it is pretty sturdy i don't think it's gonna break or whatever but it's just a hassle to know where everything has to go what i can cut now and what do i have to cut later but yeah i'm pretty happy about it so that is going to be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok and if you're not already subscribed yet subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one Get down!